In Creo Parametric, you can make different kinds of advanced gear pair connections, including bevel gears, spur gears, and worm gears. First, let's take a look at bevel gears. And here I have an assembly open. If you take a look in the model tree, there are some glyphs next to the components indicating that they already have mechanism connections. Let's click on Applications, Mechanism, and from the icons in the graphics area, you can see that we already have pin connections that assemble those two components in the assembly. Now let's create a gear pair to connect them. Click on the gears icon in the ribbon, and in the gear pair definition dialog box, you can change the name if you want to. From the type drop-down list, I'm going to change this to a bevel gear, and now let's select the motion axis for the first component. And for this one, it's going to have a pitch circle of 200. And the icon location is selected by default. And I'm going to come back to that in a moment to show you the effect. Now for gear 2, let's select the other motion axis. And in this situation, the pitch circle diameter is automatically computed based on the location of the two components with respect to each other. If we go to the Properties tab, the gear ratio is computed using the pitch circle diameter. From the drop-down list, you could change that to user-defined if you want. And you also have the ability to specify the pressure angle, the helix angle, and we have the bevel angles for gear 1 and gear 2 automatically computed. You'll notice that for alpha and beta, you can see from the little image down at the bottom what those angles correspond to. And I want you to take note that right now, the bevel angle for gear 1 is negative 63 and some change, and the bevel angle for gear 2 is 26 and some change. Again, negative 63 and 26. Remember that for a moment. So I will click OK, and you can see the icon in the graphics area for our gear pair that is created. Let's turn on our datum plane visibility for a moment, and I'm going to select the gear pair, and from the mini toolbar, edit definition, and for gear one, I'm going to change the location of the icon from the default location that was selected to this datum plane. And you'll notice now the gear two, before the pitch circle diameter was a value of 99, when I go to the gear tab, it is now about 63.7 millimeters. If I go to the properties tab, that's going to change the value of the gear ratio. And also the bevel angles are now negative 72 and 17. Before they were what, negative 63 and some change and 26 and some change. So again, changing the location of the icon for gear one will change the values of your gear pair connection. Let's click the OK button, and I'm going to turn off my datum plane visibility. Let's select our first gear, and from the mini toolbar, I'm going to create a motor, and I'm going to define the angular velocity. From the profile details tab, I'm going to define a constant velocity with a, with a value of 360 degrees per second. Let's hit the check mark. Now I can click on Analyses and hit the new icon from the mini toolbar. You could change the name if you want. I prefer the kinematic solver over the position solver. And we're going to run it for 10 seconds. We're going to have the motor engaged the entire time and hit the run button. And there you see our bevel gear in action. Spur gears. Here we have our assembly with two components, and we have a spur gear with a radius of 50 and another spur gear with a radius of 100. Let's go to Applications and then Mechanism, and we will create our gear. From the drop-down list, I will change this to a spur gear, and for gear 1, we will select this motion axis, and for the diameter of this one, it's going to be a value of 100. Now let's go to gear 2, and we will select the second motion axis, and it automatically computes the pitch circle diameter to be 200. 
Now when we go to the properties tab, we have our gear ratio computed using pitch circle diameter. And again, you can configure the pressure angle and the helix angle. Let's click the OK button and select the first motion axis from the mini toolbar. I will create a servo motor and let's define angular velocity. Again, we'll do a constant value of 360 degrees per second. Hit the check mark and we can create a new analysis of the type kinematic running for 10 seconds with the motor running the entire time. Hit the run button and you can see the motion which is kind of blurry but we can go to the playbacks. I'm going to expand it and select our analysis and then hit the play button and hit the play and there you can see the motion over the time. Worm gears. Again, we have our assembly with our two components. We have the worm and the wheel. Let's go to Applications, Mechanism, and we will create our gear. From the drop down list, I'm going to choose Worm. And for the first motion axis, we will select the worm axis. And the pitch circle diameter in this case is going to be a value of 36. Now let's go to the Wheel tab. We will select the motion axis for that component. It automatically computes the diameter based on the locations of the components. Notice the icon in the graphics area indicating the worm. And from the properties tab, we have our gear ratio computed using pitch circle diameter. And you have again the pressure angle. This time you have the screw angle for beta. Let's click OK. And we can now create a motor. Let's select our motion axis and from the mini toolbar, click on the motor. Let's again define angular velocity and constant with a value of 360 degrees per second. Hit the check mark from the dashboard. Let's create a new analysis, kinematic. Again, our motor is going to run during the entire time. Hit the run button. And there you see the, wheel, the worm driving the wheel. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.